Hey, what's up, YouTube? Soul Firm. It's your boy, Rachel CG from the Soul Firm, CEO, founder of the Soul Firm. Tonight, I want to share with you my top 10 pickups for 2016. My first shoe up is a shoe that has been over-dramatized, hype beast, whatever you want to call it. It is going to be the Retro 11 Space Jam 2016 release. So... This shoe right here is gorgeous. I did not own an original pair of Space Jam, so for me this shoe is extremely special to me. Um, I love the design, I love the quality of the shoe itself. I like the patent leather on it, the icy blue sole. I know you guys have probably seen about 20 other, if not more, reviews of this particular shoe right here. But this is my first, 2016 Space Jam 11. My next shoe up is going to be Retro 3 True Blue. So this shoe right here, I know a lot of people have had mixed reviews about the shoe um, as far as the quality standpoint. Um, I inspect all my shoes prior to walking out of the store with them for the glue issue and various other defects. <laughs> I work in quality control so it's kind of a natural for me to inspect anything I purchase. Um, of course, you know you got the Nike on the back, um, the red on the tongue. I love this shoe. Um, to me, this is a summer shoe. It's a clean shoe. Um, not going to wear it yet. Uh, if anybody knows me, they know that um, I buy shoes and it's probably a year or so before I actually wear them unless I'm really, really, really feeling the shoe. Um, pretty soon, I'm going to do some on feet um, as well as some outfit options as well. I like to dress. I like to dress from my shoe up. So most of the time, I'm looking for particular looks and outfits that will make the shoe pop itself. For me, about being a sneakerhead is just about being stylish in general. So I like to actually find outfits that are going to draw a lot of attention to the shoe itself. So you have the Retro 3 True Blue. My next shoe up, is going to is the Retro 3 Dornbecker. This shoe right here is awesome. It's gorgeous. I love the design. This is actually my first Dornbecker shoe that I was able to get this year. Um, I actually love the shoe. I've actually worn it one time since I've had it. So this is a shoe that I'll probably break out on special occasions. Maybe when I'm going to sneaker shows or doing something special with the soul firm. Maybe our next meet and greet or something, I'll wear this particular shoe. But it's the Retro 3 doing back. So my next shoe up is going to be the Retro 1 Top 3. This shoe right here, oh man, this describes me personality-wise. You got the different colors. Um, we all recognize the shoe. The Royals, the Breads. The Chicago's, Black Toes, whatever you want to call them. I love this shoe right here. Um, I can't wait to wear it. To me, this is another summer shoe. This is going to be a shoe that I can probably put a lot of different creative outfits together with it. So I'm looking forward to wearing this shoe. Um, very lucky to get this shoe. Um, sold out on sneakers and I didn't have a lot. Shout out to BTLR in Chicago because you know, I was able to walk in and cop. So a lot of times when you have a hype beast type shoe like this, it's very hard for those of us who want to actually own the shoe and not just to say that we have the shoe. There's a big difference because I wear all my shoes as difficult as it may be, but I wear all my shoes, I value all my shoes, and pretty much there's two to three outfits in my closet for every shoe that I own. So it's not just I buy the shoe and I wear it one time and you never see it. Um, for me, I like to be able to express my style. And a shoe like this is going to allow me to be able to do that. Retro 1, top 3. So my next shoe is going to be the Retro 1 Black Toes. Man, man. <laughs> Retro CG has him a pair of Black Toes on. I'm super excited about this. I love this shoe. It is such a clean, classic silhouette. Um, it's going to go with pretty much anything you put on. 
Um, not gonna necessarily say it's a summer shoe, but I can see you rocking some summer outfits with this. But um, I can't wait to put these on your photo shoot coming real soon. Might do an outfit as well that you guys see when I put together with it. Um, retro one, black toe. Next shoe is going to be the Retro 12, the Royal. Man, this shoe is gorgeous. I was out in Chicago for work when this shoe released, and um, I thought I wasn't going to be able to cop, but I actually was able to cop. And the Cubs fans out there, this was a very popular shoe. So um, I was actually very fortunate to purchase it. Now, some other people may have had a little bit better luck with purchasing this shoe versus myself, but a lot of times I'm not, I'm out on the road, on different places, and I don't have a luxury of purchasing from my home shoe stores, so sometimes it's a little bit more difficult for me to get these releases, but somehow, somewhere I manage to keep up. But um, this is a gorgeous shoe. Um, I am feeling the colorway. Of course, you got the Retro 12, beautiful silhouette. Um, any colorway they put on this shoe is going to be a gorgeous shoe. So, this is your Retro 12, Royal. Number seven is going to be another Retro 12, the Wool. Man, oh man, this shoe is gorgeous. Never mind the fact that I got a peacoat that is this exact type of color. Obviously, this is a winter shoe. Um, I've actually worn it a couple times and I got a lot of compliments on it. Um, a lot of people who are non-sneakerheads or is in depth into their purchase of sneaker and releases don't really recognize this shoe. A lot of people came to me and they're like, oh my goodness, where did this come out? But um, this is a gorgeous shoe. Um, of course, you are on the Retro 12 silhouette. Um, man. You can dress this up, dress it down, joggers, um, jogging pants. I can see you actually doing a casual outfit, maybe a pair of corduroys, polo, um, peacoat. This is perfect shoe for the winter. Unless you're in one of those states that get like eight to nine inches of snow. But during winter months, definitely going to be a shoe I rock. Retro 12 wool. Number eight is going to be my first Trophy Room purchase. We got the Trophy Room French Blue 16s. Gorgeous colorway. Gorgeous shoe. Um, I was very fortunate to get on TrophyRoom.com and actually purchase it when it released. Um, it took forever for them to process my order and ship it to me. I forgot I actually purchased the shoe. <laughs> but um, another great summer color. Great shoe. Actually got a nice LRG outfit um, that goes perfect with this shoe. Actual same color, so to speak. Actually, it was the outfit that I wore when I picked up my uh, True Blues. Actually had the shoe on with me. You probably couldn't see it in the video. But um, gorgeous shoe. My first trophy room purchase. Fresh Blue 16s. So number nine is going to be the Retro 9 Space Jam or the Chicago colorway. Man, this shoe right here. Shout out to my boy Red Ridge too, out of Chicago. I was actually at work when this shoe released and I was kind of bummed out because I wasn't gonna be able to get off the hit the shoe stores. I had tried on a couple of the apps with no success. And um, I hollered at my homie out in Chicago, member of the Soul Firm, one of my managers, Red Ridge too. And I said, bruh, I said, are you going out today to pick up the Space Jam 9s? And he was like, yeah, I, I got them. I said, can you please, please, can you give me a pair of, in a size 12? And he was like, say no more. Later on that day, he sent me a text. He's like, I got your shoes, bruh. We met up that Sunday for dinner, hang out. I was very happy that I was actually able to get this shoe while I was in Chicago as well. Um, despite what everyone may think about Chicago, um, just because it's Chicago doesn't mean it's easy for you to cop shoes. And I'm sure people who live there and are frequent sneakerhead buyers or purchasers, they have a little bit more success than a person who's traveling <laughs> to Chicago. 
But um, either way, my bro helped me out on this release, and I really appreciate him for it because this was a shoe I definitely wanted to have in my collection again, and I'm glad I have it. So it's your Space Jam Dials. Number 10 is going to be the Dorn Becker 7. This shoe, the pictures, does not do it justice. This shoe is gorgeous. Um, I was very fortunate to get this shoe. Um, I had tried on Sneakers app and I did not have success and just kind of walking into the right place, the right time out of Chicago, Nike Town, I was able to actually get these. Um, this is a very special shoe. I don't see myself wearing it quite regularly. However, um, it's probably not going to get debuted until I find an outfit that is going to properly do this shoe justice because it's not just a shoe that you throw on with anything. And it's cliche to throw it on with a pair of black jeans or joggers. I want to do right by this shoe right here. But um, this is my second Dorn Becker shoe purchase. The details and the quality and the crafting on the shoe is just phenomenal. It's beautiful, beautiful shoe. It's your Dora Becker 7. So I personally want to thank you guys for checking out the content and subscribing to the YouTube channel. I also would like to thank all of our followers. Uh, we just reached 50K, so we're excited about that. We have some big things that's coming for 2017. I can't begin to say that enough because the Soul Firm and TS Entertainment is going to be launching its first single upcoming 2017. It's called Got It Made by Mike Izzo, phenomenal, talented type of guy. Cannot wait for you guys to hear his music. Um, on the production side, Bravo Beast is going to continue to produce fire tracks. I mean, Bravo Beast comes up with the creativity that's going to inspire TSF Entertainment. Again, we would like to say thank you from TSF Canada, the Soul Firm, TSF Entertainment. Subscribe. Um, the YouTube thing is new for us, so bear with us. Our content is going to grow and get more interesting and more creative as time progresses. But for those of you who are rocking with us right now, thank you very much from Retro CG and the founders and managers of the Soul Firm. Thank you.